Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Monday, June 29th, 2015. I'm your host, Banks Lee. As always, we're going to take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed at Attractions. So let's get started with June 22nd. Posted this photo of the warped wall from the American Ninja Warrior set on the New York Street at Universal Studios Florida. This episode aired that Monday night on June 22nd on NBC. The next round, the Orlando City Finals, will air on August 3rd, and I'm sure you can catch reruns of the qualifying round on Esquire Network throughout the weeks. Moving on to June 24th, a brand new Jamba Juice opened up in Crossroads over by Downtown Disney. Speaking of Downtown Disney, as it's transforming into Disney Springs, Dave Cobb shared this photo of the Adventurers Club, the former Adventurers Club, being demolished there at Downtown Disney. You can see inside there, you can see the old library theater where you would go in and watch the shows. It's really sad to see this torn down, but it's been closed now for a while, eight years, I think. So it's it's finally time to get rid of it and uh, build a new. Bring Disney Springs comes to life. A lot of people are sad about this. I'm one of them. Also over there at Downtown Disney, you can see the construction progress on the new Hangar Restaurant, which is going over there by the Boathouse, themed to Indiana Jones, of course. You can check out our blog for more details about this bar. As I told you about last week, some of the staff was overseas on vacation. They were at Disneyland Paris and other places, and as they were flying into MCO here in Orlando, it got this really cool rainbow through the rain uh, over Central Florida. I think this is a really pretty shot. Moving on to June 25th, we were over at Legoland, Florida for the opening of their brand new Lego Friends Heart Lake City expansion. This little area has a new ride, a new show, and a couple cool little details. In fact, if you're an awesomer pass holder with Legoland, that's also get you into the iDrive 360 stuff, you can go to Legoland right now and pick up this special Heart Lake City brick to add to your awesomer pass collection. This is a look at just one of the many models, new Lego models that they have inside Heart Lake City. This is a Lego Friends right here. It's a fun little photo op. And here are a couple of Vine posts of what you can see at Heart Lake City. This is Mia's Riding Adventure, new ride there. It's actually more intense than you would think. It spins, you can't really see it right here because it's about to do a switcheroo on the spinning, but it spins a lot and the, the half pipe motion and you get some good air time on there. This is a look at the grand opening ceremony for it. The characters dancing, Lego characters are there, some uh, kid dancers. Really neat little ceremony there. And then here's a preview of the new stage show that's inside the Heart Lake Hall, Lego Friends to the Rescue. You can see full videos of the ride, the opening ceremony, and this show on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash attractions magazine. Moving on to June 26th at BobWad1 on Twitter. Shared this photo at SeaWorld. Very busy. Summer crowds are here. It is summer. It's hot. There's rain every day. So definitely be prepared when you go to the parks. On June 27th and June 28th, we were over at the Orange County Convention Center for the Walker Stalker Cons. The first time it's been in Orlando. It's basically all things Walking Dead. Biggest lineup of Walking Dead stars in any con in America. Plus some other stars from like Breaking Bad, Lost, and other couple of hit TV shows, Gotham as well. We were there covering it for a future episode of the show. This is a, an exact replica of uh, Dale's... RV from The Walking Dead. You can go in there for five bucks and get a tour of the inside and get a photo as well. One of the many actors there from The Walking Dead is Jordan Woods Robinson right here. He's actually from Orlando, used to work at Blue Man Group, and now he's on the show. It's pretty cool. We also interviewed some of the people there, including Nestor Carbonell. You know him from, you know, Lost. He's currently on Bates Motel. He was in the Dark Knight movies. So we're going to have him and many others on a future episode of the show, so be sure to tune into that segment. And while we were there, we found this fun little minion plush on sale, zombie minion. On June 28th, over at Downtown Disney, in the Art of Disney store, we found these cool Disney signs, like signs you would find in the parks of rides, of uh, directional signs, that kind of stuff. I think this is a really cool. I like the Great Movie Ride one. And finally, we want to end this week with a look, of course, here at our brand new summer issue of Orlando Attractions Magazine. It has to do with iDrive 360, the Orlando I, Madame Tussauds, Sea Life, and the new Skeleton Museum over there. This is now available digitally in our app and as well in print on our website and over at Theme Park Connection. So go pick yourself up a copy. And that'll do it this week for the Weekly Rewind. Be sure to tune in to the show this Thursday. We're going to show you around Heart Lake City, like I told you about earlier. And then also we'll be at the new Crayola Experience at the Florida Mall. So you don't want to miss that one. And until next week, guys, have fun. We'll see you later.